In this video, I'm going to share with you some cool free YouTube tutorials that were created recently by talented artists in the Blender community. We're going to start with this beautiful tutorial from the Blender Made Easy YouTube channel. The instructor will show you how to create a glowing river using Blender and some simple but very effective techniques. You will need the landscape add-on to create a landscape that the water will flow through. The add-on does have ready assets that you can customize, and among them is something that looks like a river. After that, you will make sure you have the right domain settings that will allow you to run the simulation properly. Then you will set the liquid settings and the water particles properties and how they will interact with the surface of the river. After that, you will add the foam and materials which will give it the look you are after. Next, we have a very good tutorial from the Light Architect YouTube channel. Basically, you will learn how to remove objects from your scene. In this particular case, you want to remove cows from the field. To do this, first of all, Brad will show you how to add markers properly in your shot. After that, you will learn how to add a camera that will follow the movement. And later, you will add planes where the cows are. Also, you will add materials and you will paint over them to hide them from the scene. This will allow the cows to be invisible even when the camera is moving. Next is this beginner tutorial from the 3D Green Horn YouTube channel. You will learn how to create a 3D model art that looks very beautiful, but I have to let you know that the voiceover is done using a robotic voice, which I personally don't find annoying since the value is great. First of all, you will learn how to create a simple mushroom and add to it white spots. After that, you will add a simple blade of grass and add some rocks to make it look even better. Then create a bottle and finally you will learn about lighting, shading and adding materials to make it look awesome. Next is this great time-lapse sculpting tutorial from the Yan Sculpts YouTube channel. You will see how you can create a simple but aesthetically pleasing character. Yan will show you real quick how he created Vi, who is a character from the popular Netflix show called Arcane. The show is basically based on League of Legends video game, but the story is about two cities and two sisters who fight for what they believe in, and Vi is one of the main characters. This fast sculpting tutorial is beautiful and Yan shows you how he created the body from scratch and how he added every small detail from clothes, tattoos, scratches, piercings and so on. If you want to take a look at it, I'm sure it will be inspiring for you. Also, I recommend taking a look at his recent video about why you should speed sculpt more. He will give you his thoughts on the process and why you need to practice it more and many benefits he derived from speed sculpting as an exercise. Next is this time-lapse tutorial from Sketching in Blender YouTube channel. It doesn't include commentary, but you will see how the artist behind this amazing work created it from scratch. He started by creating the gate using polymodeling in addition to creating some walls. After that, he started adding some details using sculpting brushes to make the scene look organic and natural. Then he created stairs and some statues at the entrance to make it look really ancient indeed. He also added some textures and texture painted some details. Later, he shows you how to add natural assets such as grass, moss, and trees. Finally, after lighting and rendering the scene, he goes to Photoshop for paint over and adding some post-processing effects. You will also find on the same YouTube channel a time-lapse tutorial on how to create a cyberpunk city in Blender from scratch, starting from modeling every part of the city, like streets, buildings, and so on. And following the same method, you will add textures, lights, and render everything and take it to Photoshop or Paint Over. If you are interested in these tutorials, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And you can also share with us your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.